<laughs> okay, so it doesn't have a ton of flex. Look at how much clearance there is. No, the diff clearance is insane. It's like a half, half a like Kevin. Half a Kevin. It's a half a Kevin. What's up, Life Bright Nation? What's going on, Life Bright Nation? We are uh, not in Kansas anymore. Or Utah. And by Kansas, I mean Utah. Yeah, We're not that. in Utah anymore because we made a quick, very unexpected uh, trip down to Texas. Two days of driving. Two days of driving to only be here <laughs> for two days. So if you're wondering why we didn't announce it or we're not doing any meetups or anything like that, because we're literally only here for two days, then we're driving two more days back to Utah. Yeah, because I was done driving. I didn't want to drive anymore. I want to be at home. I want to be working on stuff. I want to be wheeling. I want to be playing. So let's get this on the road. <laughs> In my defense, we're not only here for me, but day one is for me because day one is for this. Oh my God. This is like uncovering a car that's been in a barn for 30 years. <laughs> Ooh, what you got there, babe? It's actually still shiny. Like this is seriously, we just showed up. This, this is... is my pride and joy. <laughs> Look how sexy she is. Even the wheels are still shiny. <laughs> so first things first, is seeing if she'll start. You got it? Yeah. You know? The battery's been disconnected for three years, so yeah. we'll see. Let's see. I did bring a jump pack just in case. There you go. Oh my god. She's got cool. Oh, this was out here for the frozen apocalypse thing. Apocalypse. Something burrowed a hole to live inside your. Um... Oh, there it comes. There it oh goes. god, what is it? It's a mouse. Oh my god. Oh. It jumped out right here. It made a home oh in here. God. Look, it tore all that up. As long as the wiring's fine, we can just go. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, well, that's what I saw. I opened. I was like, "What's that?" I was like, "Oh, there's a little hole right there. Okay. There might be a whole family of oh, babies I hope in there." Oh there's not a family of mice living in this. Go get it, Jelly. Where the mice? Go get the mouse. Go get it. Where'd it go? Okay. Oh, I hear the radio. That's good news. So, before we start it, we're just gonna double check that there's not like babies under here that I'm gonna, you know, start it and then end up melting. Oh, that's. Well, it's not. Mm. That one's broken into pieces. Ah, I've never seen those before. That's kind of genius, so you can reuse them without breaking them. Oh God, that's disgusting. Oh my God. Right there. there we go. Oh God. Oh God. Hold on, it's around the strut. I know. Gross. So the good news is, no babies. The bad news is, and now my anger bay isn't clean anymore. Moment of truth. She wants to. Yeah. <laughs> She's alive. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed at how clean it is and that it just started that easily. This How, fuel is old. It's, dude, it's gotta be years old. Like, it's not good to like, we should have put stabilizer in it. I just never even cared about it. So, for those of you that don't know, Kevin absolutely oh. fucking hates this car. He had high, high hopes that it wouldn't start or it would explode or just spontaneously combust. So he's a little disappointed right now. I, however, am so ecstatic that this thing looks as clean and started right up after years of basically just sitting here. The downside is, is it probably will need a new engine, not for sitting here, but because I'm pretty sure even when we stored it originally, it had a blown head gasket. I've been having coolant disappearing issues and coolant smell out the exhaust for a while before we stored it. So that might have to be a thing at some point. For now, it runs, it starts. You can hear the air compressor. How much feels in it? Oh, almost empty. Almost that's good. Empty. So you can go put 93 in it. Well, I think yeah. that's was the point was I stored it on empty on purpose. Yeah. Or I tried. So that's not bad. Do you have a Horton Hears a Who inside your inside your exhaust or what? So now the other moment of truth. Does she air up? Let's find out. Woo it went up. It went up! I was waiting for it to go up and like boom! Just like explode. <laughs> So that's all the way up, which I'm gonna have to be to get off the grass and back into the alleyway. Ah! It looks funny all jacked up like that. 
that. Now you can't go anywhere. I know, but it looks so good. <laughs> you guys, words seriously cannot describe just how happy I am. This thing is my pride and joy. For those of you that don't know, this is my 2001 Volkswagen Jetta 12 valve VR6. So it's actually GLX. Once upon a time it used to be, it is no longer this thing. Every spec of it has essentially been modified or worked on at some point in time by me. This is the car that got me into cars. This was my first manual transmission. I learned how to change oil on this thing. I learned how to do everything on this thing. And I've kept it all these years because one day, one, <laughs> Kevin said that's how he got into my pants is because he helped me fix this one time. Not necessarily true, he helped me fix it after the fact. But anyways, I digress. The point is that my goal one day is to have the only Mark IV Jetta still in existence that looks good because they're kind of like the cockroaches of the Euro world, right? Just like the Civics and the 240s are of the JDM world. That's what this is to the Volkswagen in the Euro world. Look at it. Oh my God. Not only does it run, but it still looks damn good. <laughs> Now, I have been waiting to use these for like ever a year and a half. <laughs> so I love this trailer. You guys know I love this PJ trailer. It's got the hydro dove in the back. So this whole back eight foot section, 10 foot section is hydraulic and it comes up and down wherever you want. I got them so we could load up the Corvette, so we could load up our Jetta, so we could load up the Supra onto the trailer. Cause my original goal. All of the vehicles that essentially were not off-road vehicles lifted, but lowered rather right because my goal was to be able to take like the jeep and one of the fast cars or cool cars with us and, and when we travel the country that just never worked out we just never we never did it so these ramps race ramps and the reason i want to talk about it for a second you can have them custom made what we did is i called these guys and they said all right take these measurements as this was all the way up they wanted the deck height of the trailer then they wanted a measurement from the ground to the front bumper, and then from the front bumper to the center of the vehicle for the breakover. So they take all these measurements, and then they actually make you this injected molded ramps that are the correct length. And we haven't even used this once yet, so we don't know if it's gonna work. It should. Well, it was for a two-door Supra, I think is what I measured. Yes. Your car's a four-door, so I don't but know. But it's on air suspension, yeah. and it gets pretty high off the ground, so I think it'll be fine. So if you, if you look at this, and I'm super excited about it because I'm looking at it and all the all the angles look great. So that's a nice swoop up and then you should be able to drive it right over the top oh, of yeah. that. I mean, I don't even think breakover is going to be an issue. No, I don't. Granted though, if it were be, I could get it all the way up to the front tires to here and then we can lift the dovetail and continue to drive it on if we needed to, but I, need to. I don't think that's going to be an issue. So this should be good for the Corvette. The Supra. The Supra, the, the Jetta. Jetta, for pretty much anything. We should be able to drive it up here, no problem. We just gotta find, I wanna build some boxes underneath to store them or something, but if you guys have anything, if even if you have like an enclosed trailer and it's not quite right, you don't have to use two by fours and stuff. You can actually use nice secure ramps that have grip to them. Which they is really interlock cool. extremely well, so they don't yeah. slide out from under. Same over here. There's like an actual little hump to keep it locked into the trailer. I literally have not used these at all. They've been sitting on the side of her mom's house for the better part of two years. But let's now see, we get to use them. Let's see if it works. So. Okay, okay. I think so. It's not a proper response to that question, Kevin. I don't know, guys. If she lined up, close enough. Close enough? <laughs> not a good Just drive your car. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I was saying wait because your dog's about to run in front of you. Oh, now she's under the trailer. Keep the driver a little bit. Oh, 
years later. I'm gonna have to move those wheels and tires. Yeah. That's my mom. All strapped down, ready to go. Now we get to go pick up my new toy. Surprise number two. <laughs> Surprise number two here. <laughs> it doesn't run very well. What did you call it? <laughs> what, the Gromlin <laughs> or the oxygen tank? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> so apparently, this is a Gromlin and it runs on oxygen tanks. <laughs> According to my mom. I know it starts with a G. Yeah. Right? No. No? No. Okay. A gremlin. <laughs> that also has a G. It's an off-road tanker and I love it. I want to drive it. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> it's called a Unimog. <laughs> oh yeah, that. That was what it was. <laughs> the kids while it's coming back to Utah with us. Yeah. Do we feel how much it has? Sure. Drive it off the side. Try harder. That's what she said. <laughs> so obviously there's something wrong with it, which is why we're taking it back to Mr. Chris. Chris, get ready. This has been converted from carburationing gas to LPG, so it's running on propane, but obviously not running right because it pops and stalls, and you can't go more than like a mile an hour, half a mile an hour. So this, this is, is technically Aaron's Unimog. It's only the highest quality. It's ours now. Quality vehicles for me. You know, one of the highest quality vehicles. <laughs> That back tire is lifting. Yeah, for sure. I have a title for it I haven't seen yet. Yeah, that's pretty good. It wants, yeah. to, it wants to stay down for sure. Kevin's stronger. You should try that, Kevin. Yeah, I don't want to push it I over. I don't want to tip it over. <laughs> so it doesn't have a ton of flex. Look at how much clearance there is. No, the diff clearance is insane. It's like... It's like half a half a, a Kevin. Like half a Kevin. It's a half a Kevin. Now, most of you guys know Aaron from Lone Star Drift. So it's the drifting series here in Texas that both Kevin and I competed in. He also is the one who manages and created Drift Week, which is super rad. You also might know him from our videos because of this guy right here. So if you remember way back when we did our Jeep versus Humvee, he still has that as well. Surprisingly, Aaron actually has more off-roading vehicles on portal axles than he does not on portal axles. And uh, we're about to take one of them home with us to Utah to see if Chris can fix it because <laughs> it runs like crap. <laughs> look at the, um, the suspension. See if you can tell me what's going on. In the rear? Yeah, look. So here's one of the control arms, which is just not really a control arm. It kind of is, but it just bolts to that torque tube right there. Yeah, what? That yeah. means this torque tube is supporting the weight of the whole vehicle, like the whole suspension, basically. I would not bolt any type of suspension component to a Corvette torque tube, though. But I assume this is a lot stronger, hopefully. And that's why no one will remember your name. Oh, God. That's why what? <laughs> so and if you look sorry. at these bars, all they do is bolt here, hard mounted on both sides. And there's a pan hard bar in back. And that's it. It doesn't rotate because there's no bushing or bearing. It's just bolted to the axle. Yeah, and it doesn't even flex. It just bolts. That's so crazy. it doesn't have to do anything because the torque tube itself moves. So this is all your up travel. You can't do a flat floor because the tire is already into this into the, yeah, plywood. The, there's no flooring. No, the back that would this be thing, cool. really. Make it a, a camper or something like a. I know, but it's probably heavy. Maybe. You know what I mean? Like you're all probably steel. the thing only has 59 horsepower. You might we'll need some of it. I might do a floor and just make a hump for the tire in that in that floor. Just make a little. Yeah. Oh, you want to see something else crazy? Yeah. What do you think this is? And there's an identical one right here that goes forward. Shifting for 
some sort of shifting? It is shifting. It's for the lockers. That's, oh. It's a mechanical locker. It's, it's a, a mechanical, mechanical just rod that does the lockers front and rear. Your boots to learn. Yeah, I know. Your torque tube boot. I don't know learn. how you would get that on and off with, since like it's part of the suspension and stuff and like it looks like a lot of work. <laughs> We're not doing that. Of course. Your guy can do that. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just wrap it with Gorilla Tape. How about this? We haven't figured out what this is yet. It's not like... It's a charging port either coming in or out oh, of the vehicle. 24 volt? Yeah, like either you can power a generator or you yeah. can power the truck. It's a PTO. I don't know. An yeah. electric PTO? I don't know. All the documentation and stuff is in German. Like if you want to go look up the shift patterns, it's all in German. So the cool thing is we actually know people in Germany now who we can have translate the German instructions <laughs> on what all this is. But So the goal right now is Aaron bought this. It doesn't run. It's converted to propane. He doesn't have anybody that wants to spend time on it. He doesn't want to spend time on it. So Chris was in the military. I did want to spend time, but I have a baby now. Yeah, you have a baby That's now. True. That's he has a baby now. Damn babies. <laughs> so we're going to take it back. We're going to get it running, and then we're going to do some cool content for you guys. Because Chris and then, actually knows how to work on these. Chris knows how to work on everything. I know. So then Aaron will have a vehicle when he comes to Utah to visit to drive around. And when he's not there in Utah, we get to play with it. I got to drive this thing, so we got to figure this out. It's a little easier to get in when it's up on the trailer like that. Okay. Quick crash course and levers. Okay, there's three pedals. That one is this one? an e-brake, so leave it there. Okay. That's the shifter. Okay. Leave it there. This is reverse and, and forward. Forward and reverse. Back is reverse, forward is down. Okay. That one on the far side is all the way down is two-wheel drive. Up is four-wheel drive, and then all the way up is lockers and four-wheel drive. This is a six-speed, so you have like a PTO blockout, which is it's first, second, and then over, and you have to get past a PTO blockout, which is sometimes a pain. I'm not quite sure about that. It might have to do with that lever right there. No, wait, that's reverse. Is there another lever? That might be the PTO thing down there, that lever. This I don't one? remember. Just leave it alone. So is it an H pattern or how is yeah, it? Yeah, H pattern. But we were having problems before getting over to fourth, fifth, and sixth. Third starts like your first gear on the street, but sometimes it won't go in unless you're already moving. You have to start it in first and second to get to third. It won't let you over to third without being on those there gears go, first. Knows what's up. All right, so I'm in, I need to go to reverse. Yep, you just pull back. Is, yep, there you that's go. Reverse. What are the three pedals? Are you, is this serious, Brittany? I can't tell if you're trolling me. How do I, is it in gear? Up? Yeah, it's in first gear. Do I put the e brake down too? Yeah. I actually don't have great visibility out of this. There you go. That was pulling? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I guess liquid propane is whatever. Like when liquid. you give it too much gas? Yeah. You're good. Oh. Ah. Which does work. There you go. You got about five feet. Give or take. <laughs> I beat Kevin to 44s. Yeah. <laughs> because it won't drive. How was it? You only stalled it like 12 times. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see one of you drive it up that, that slowly. Aaron stalled it more than that driving it on flat ground. So. Yeah. Is the battery enough to do that? It's supposed to be. I had a brand new battery in it. It dies in the instant I use it. Does so it recharge off the truck? Yeah. So it's charged. Do you want me to start the truck? So it won't matter because okay. it's this tiny little 18 gauge wire. It's just a triple charge. Is the handbrake up, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> what did you just do? I tore it off. No, you I was gonna say it. if there's another one. There. It's a high quality vehicle. We'll just <laughs> we'll just put this here so no one. Oh, that'll fall right off. Yeah, that's somebody else's problem, not mine. Jelly, what are you looking for? Yeah. Did you get it? Where is it? That's how I had to do my, uh, Jelly <laughs> is trying to find the mouse that used to be 
inside my Jetta or under the hood. She can smell it. She's got a crazy good nose on her. Jelly, where's the mouse? Did you get your mouse? Where is it? Where's the mice? She knows. She where's the mice? It. Where is it? Clearly, she can smell it. Did you get the mice? Jelly, where's the mouse? Jelly, where's the mouse? Where is it? Get it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hey, 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 get out from under my car, you fucking lunatic. Come here. Come here. Get out from under my fucking car. Oh my God, you're gonna be covered in gross stuff. I'm 99% sure the mouse is already gone. I hope. And we're home. And and Chris, we uh, we got you a Unimog. I see that. <laughs> so real quick to go over with it, it doesn't really run, it kind of idles. It stalls there's all a, the time. There's a freeze plug that's popped out of the motor, so it leaks a freeze plug. There's oil leaking out of everything. The rear shocks are blown. It has no steering, like, or... So we should just go buy another Unimog and take this back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so just so you guys know, the idea here is this is not ours. This is still Aaron's Unimog. No, it's mine now. Oh. He doesn't know it yet. Yeah, he doesn't know it yet. But the idea is essentially we're going to fix this up and we're going to store it here for Aaron. To use when he comes by. When he visits, he can use it. And when he's not here. It's ours. It's ours. We can use it is the thought. This thing is in <laughs> such good shape that both the rear shocks blew out on the trailer on the way back home. I just saw it right now. Both shocks are like. Yeah, it's it's not in real good shape yet. <laughs> I don't, yet. Do, do we even want to? Should I yet. just take, I, I almost, after looking over this more. I almost just want to take it back to Aaron and be like, sorry. We'll see. We got some potential. We're going to see. The whole point is to not have a nice one. You guys saw the Bilstein one that Kevin got to drive at King of the Hammers. And that thing is sick, but it's yeah. nice. This one isn't nice, which means we can beat the crap out of it is the idea. The right? goal is to get it running. Just nice. get it running the goal, enough. The goal is to get it running nice. And then Aaron said take the bed off, but I think it looks sick when you bob them right at the back tire. Uh -huh. So we'll just cut this baby, frame it all right here. You know what my favorite part is? And it's got portals. Well, right. Portals. You know what it needs? It needs a it needs a diesel in it, like a Mercedes diesel or something. It, because of the way these are built and the way the transmissions are, you can't just throw an engine in it and a transmission. He hasn't met me yet. <laughs> so I do think one of the first things we need to do is like uh, do a new battery box because there's two batteries in here that are hooked up as a 24 volt system and well, it's kind of falling through. Oh my God, yeah, it is falling through, look at that. <laughs> All right, let's push that back up there. This thing's pretty sick. You're not mad at us, right? Oh no, never, I'm never mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're bringing what home? But Chris is gonna fix it up. We're gonna have a lot of super rad content in the future with this Unimog, with Chris, and of course, out in the rocks and in the dunes and stuff, filming it, doing dunes. some rad wheeling. That's not going in the dunes. You know, that no. will absolutely chug sure. through dunes. It <laughs> sure will. freaking will. It'll be the funniest thing going through Oh yeah, the it, doesn't, it doesn't get out of second gear so far. You go first second, but it yeah, won't first. get out of the power takeoff. But I do hear, look guys, I do hear, see that cover right there? That's the transmission. You just unbolt that cover and you just reach in there and with a pry bar, you gently just pry it over to, all right, so when you're going down the freeway, I got to put a bar in here and you just go, bam, bang it into third? Yeah, just, just, just bam, bam. <laughs> Like suicide ship, like a, like a street bike. Anyways, Holy this is good. Shit, the motor stick it through. <laughs> <laughs> There's a motor in here, like right here. Like not. Hey, I, I think it's missing a plug wire. Let me just stick it back on there. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Lightbright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. And stay tuned, as always, for some super rad content involving the Unimog, maybe a little bit even of the Jetta. But this is gonna be rad. Germany update for you guys. So we just received an email from Bilstein and we've gotten our first ticket. Probably not our last official ticket from Germany. I was waiting for my like four or five, six just all come at once. in Europe. The first ticket I received wasn't for speeding. Guys, we were so worried about getting speeding tickets. This one that they sent us, I'm just gonna read you directly from the uh It has a picture of me like it's literally a photo uh, of Kevin in the seat. So it said 
the driver of the vehicle did not maintain the required distance of 40.4 meters from the vehicle in front at a pace of 97 kilometers per hour. The distance was 14.5 meters, which is less than three tenths of half the speedometer value. Tolerances are considered in your favor. Tolerances are considered in your favor. Like, okay, we gotta take it for tailgating <laughs> in so, Germany. So 55 miles an hour, I was only <laughs> four, 15, I was 45 feet away. Was that Not how many acceptable. Meters? Whatever 14.5 meters is in feet. Yeah, 45 feet away at 55 miles an hour? <laughs> But no, they want, Germany, they want 120 feet away at 55 miles yeah. an hour. It's our first ticket. Uh, we don't know if we're getting others. We're just expecting them, but we will keep you posted as they come. So they want us to <laughs> fill out the form. They want to know my place of birth, my mother's maiden name, my address. They want to, they I guess they're going to... maiden name. We might actually get a ticket mailed to us. We don't know, but they... From France. We have a questionnaire we have to fill out because they ask, they want to know who the driver is because it's the driver of the vehicle that obviously gets in trouble. We shall see if they find it worth mailing a ticket to the U.S. and it's, dealing with Americans. It's like, 30, it's like $30 for the ticket. Kevin, why are you such a bad driver? I drive 80,000 miles a year here in the States. I haven't had a ticket in a decade. Well, well I, got, I got out of that one going too yeah. slow. But that was for going 30 and a 35, and we were accused of uh, impeding traffic. We actually did get fined for that one, but we paid a lawyer's office about $30 more than what the ticket value was just as a petty F you so the city didn't get a ticket because it's it just, just the money, yeah. 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 Anyways, cool beans.